Hello, welcome. My name is Jack, and this is the Dirty Olive. I'll have the recipe for the pattern up at the end of the video. The body consists of two different colors of hen's body quill. The first one you tie in is a light olive. I'll just take this all the way back to just before getting into the bend of the hook. Just rest that right there. The white underbody is a nice platform for this material because it is opaque. So you can, the translucency it has bends itself nicely to having a white base. Now you can certainly play with colors in the underbody to get different results, but for a nice true tone of the color, I like to use a white base. So I'm just building a tapered underbody. And what I'll do is I will counterspin this thread being stranded it will flatten out for you and give you a nice smooth underbody. Got a little squeaking going on there with the bobbin. It's actually a bird I got hidden right behind me. So you're going to want to watch and not get your build up at the bead too close to the size or diameter of the bead because we'll have some things we'll be tying in later okay that we'll need some space for next thing I'll do now once you get the under body taper where you want it tie this off cut that away for an L What I like to do with this particular pattern, I'll get a brown thread, an 8 aught, and attach it on. And then what I'll do is I'll get a little bit of underbody color to it. So I'll wrap this in open wraps about halfway back. And then come back again into the thorax. And once I get just behind the bead, I'll make a nice solid brown color. Tie that off. Cut that away. So now what I'll do is I'll bring this light olive forward. And then what you're going to want to do is you'll overlap this as you're turning. And right as you get to the thread, the brown thread, I'll back up a couple of turns just to make it a little darker because each time you go back over this body quill, what it will do is it'll darken a little bit each time you overlap it. And what I'll do is I'll tie it off just like thread. You don't have to catch it with thread to tie it off. Because you can, you can knot this and it'll be fine. So now I'll bring the O4, catch it on. Bring this back over the brown thread wraps underneath. Go about two wraps past that thread and then come back over again, back to the front. And you can tie that off. You see how quickly we came close to the bead diameter. You can see you get a really nice tone transition to the body doing it this way. You're going to need to coat this 
with some resin or some Sally Hansen's or whatever your choice of body cover is because trout's teeth will just tear this up you'll catch two or three trout and it'll be done so you get your resin on there and you just kind of spread it around get it on there nice a nice even coat all the way around just kind of look at it make sure you're getting and this is thin so you can kind of take your hook and work it back and forth like this and kind of help even it down and taper it nice and cure it and the coat of resin really makes your body pop the colors and tones in it it really just makes it jump out there once you get your body on I take my brown thread and reattach it because the thorax is going to be like a chestnut color brown called mulberry and with the brown bead using the brown thread it helps hide it and it doesn't look you get a better transition that right at the bead and you don't need much this is only a size 16 hook so you're only looking to just get a smidge of dubbing on there just to give it a little bit of thorax so you wrap that on just like that give yourself a couple of knots snip that off And there you have a completed pattern and you can rough this up a little bit but after one or two trout it tends to get poked out anyway and gets even a little more buggy there you have it